three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Alright, welcome to Roots of Reality. I'm your host, Ben Bauman, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of sleeping. So for millions of years, the ability to sleep has been a part of various life forms on Earth. Now, why we sleep, though, is still not fully understood scientifically, but obviously from personal experiences, we all know that sleep is kind of like recharging your phone battery or something. We go to sleep at night tired and low on energy, but wake up feeling recharged and ready to awake again the next day. And given we spend 33% of our lives sleeping, it clearly is a crucial aspect of our existence. Thus, this is why sleeping is so important to our health and mental well-being, and why sleep disorders like insomnia or other things where you can't fall asleep can be so dangerous if not addressed and taken care of. Additionally, beyond medical disorders, there are just even certain behaviors that can keep us up at night, like maybe spending too much time on our phones while we're trying to sleep, or just overthinking the various problems that life throws at us. There are a million different things that can keep us up at night. In fact, even things like just thinking about not being able to fall asleep when you know you have to get up in the morning can be a distraction that keeps you up at night. Now, beyond this, another fascinating aspect of sleep is dreaming. Obviously, when we go to sleep at night, our brains are not completely shut off. And as a result, we have these thoughts and hallucinations as if we are alive and living them. Even though, in reality, we are just imagining some experience that isn't real. Now, throughout human history, dreams have been written about extensively as for thousands and thousands of years, people have tried to make sense of why we dream in the first place, which is why many societies have really believed that dreams represent some sort of message or meaning in our lives, an idea common in religious traditions historically around the world and in places like ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, and ancient India. In fact, even today, you can still find lots of people that believe that dreams have some sort of special meaning and that it's telling us something that we need to know. For example, if you have a dream that you're getting a car accident the next day, maybe that's a message and a sign that you shouldn't drive your car because you're being warned, basically, to avoid getting into that accident. In reality, though, there is no scientific evidence that dreams mean anything beyond what you want to believe they mean. So if you have a dream that creeps you out or a nightmare... Just remember, it's likely just all in your head. And when you wake up, you can be happy knowing that it isn't real. Unless, of course, in your dream something good happens and you become rich or something, which, in which case, tough luck, I suppose. But generally speaking, yes, dreams don't mean anything. Try not to read too much into them. You know, this kind of natural superstitious element of what it means to be human causes us to try to find meanings in things, even if there really isn't a meaning in it. And so that's something we just always have to be careful of and aware of because if you're not, then you could be kind of start to get scammed into things like, for example, you know, people that are going to interpret your dreams for you and, um, you know, financially kind of prey off of your assumption that your dream means something. So with that, Make sure that you get plenty of sleep. It's a fascinating aspect of uh, our humanity. But at the same time, don't overthink sleep and try not to read too much into the things that happen in your dreams. And as always, remember, billions of years led to you. So make the most of it.